Welcome back everyone. So I'm just going to show you how to do a variation on the decorative bow. So to get this type of bow at the back with the net, um, I'm just going to show you how we do that. Okay, so I've cut my net 50 centimeters long and it is 15 centimeters in width. I've just overlapped it at the back and in the same way, we just fold it and do an accordion pleat to get the desired gather. Okay, so when I'm happy with that, I'm just going to pop a pin in just to hold it in place. Okay. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to layer up another bow on top to get this kind of look okay and you can use any color at all I've gone for the gold again this time um, and and the white I just think it's a lovely combo but um, here is another red one that we can use another variation so I'm just going to show you how to make them the, the smaller ribbon so what I did with the, this one here with the star one I cut it 40 centimeters 42 centimeters long just to allow for um, seam allowance okay and I just did exactly the same thing as I did with the net we just folded it over at the back like so and then pinch and put a stitch through it okay and again I wrap the thread around just holds it in place a little bit better okay and that's exactly what I did here with the with the red. Okay. So once you've got your stitch in place, like so, what we'll do is we'll place it where we want it to go on top of the other ribbon. So a good tip when you're trying to gauge uh, length and width of bows, the, the narrower the bow the smaller it should be otherwise it'll be out of proportion so this red ribbon here is four centimeters so I made that one I cut that one at 32 centimeters the two centimeters is just for the overlap at the back and then this one I made a little bit longer because I thought it would just it was holding the shape but if you were doing a narrower one again using a ribbon like this it would be too long if you cut it at 30 centimeters and it would just be I think it would just be flopping everywhere so I'll probably just do that one a little bit tighter a little bit smaller so that it would hold its shape okay so that one I would probably do at about 20 centimeters and again add on another centimeter or two for seam allowance so that one is two centimeters so just to give you an idea you know the different widths and the different types that you can combine so there's there's another decorative um ribbon that i have that is lovely very festive with um, the poinsettias on it you know in the white and gold and that's six centimeters wide so i cut that one at again at 42 to give myself the overlap and the nice thing about the wire is that when you you know once you shape it it will hold the shape so I probably just pinch that you know once or twice because I don't want it to be I don't want to lose the shape pin and you can see that you can shape that nicely because it has a little bit of the the wire just to stiffen it so any of these combinations would work really well okay that's sitting better like that okay so either the gold again you can put the gold trim on the front like that or you could go for something more colorful here we have the red and then there's a contrasting velvet red so the same color contrasting texture 
and that again gives a nice effect. So we have the net, and the red grosgrain, and the red um, velvet in the middle. So any of these combinations would be lovely, lovely addition to a project. Um, okay, so I'm just going to finish the one here I've already prepared. So I have now stitched the two of these together and wrapped my embroidery thread around the middle. So I haven't put tails on this one. I want it to look a little bit different to the last sample I did. And um, I'm just going to finish it off with the gold in the middle. Okay, so because there's less bulk going into this one and these ribbons are quite light, I've cut that to about seven centimeters and then we flip it over onto its back and we will overlap the back so we'll have a good overlap here again just before we close it up we just trim off the loose threads and then we'll fold this one fold it under so i'm actually going to trim a little bit off this end so i think it's a bit long Okay, so the good thing is you can trim it off, but you cannot add it back on. So better to go a little bit longer and then to trim. Okay. And this part is a little bit fiddly. See how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to pin it. And then close it up, sew it up. Okay. I'm just going to tighten it just in another little little bit and I just want to make sure that the sides are all lined up nicely so I think that looks pretty neat turn it back over and I have my my thread my needle threaded I'm just using sewing thread for this one again because it's quite I'm working with very light fabric so I don't need to use really the embroidery thread for this and I'm going in from underneath. The knot is holding the thread in place. And again, I'm doing the whip stitch all the way along here just to close it up. So again, just you can turn it whichever direction makes it easier or more comfortable for you to work on. All the way along. Until we get to the end and then we'll just knot, tie a knot and finish off. And thread it back through and trim it off. And then we take out the pin and then once I take the pin out you see that it sits nicely you can just trim any loose threads off that you don't want so I think that's sitting nice and it's very light so you could add that to any project it wouldn't be heavy at all okay you could even put it on a, on a gift you could use any of these decorative bows so I'm just going to finish this one off just to show you the process again. Okay, so I'm going to get my needle and thread, go right through all the layers, and then I'm going to bring my thread around and then tie a knot. Okay, now again, the, the tool or the net is very easy to work with because it's, it's just so, it's so light. Um, so there we go very quick quick to do that so now we get our next bow that we're layering up and we place it in the center so I really like this the contrast of these the white and the and the red so just from the back I'm just gonna pin that okay when I take the pin out that'll sit a bit better the pin is making it kind of skew off a little bit to the side 
So um, I'll just put a little bit more thread, needle. And get ready to close up this one. So they're very quick and the more you do, the quicker you get. So I'm going to cut now um, seven centimeters of the velvet, which I may need to trim. Um, I just want to make sure that this is centered as well. So I always check. Yeah, so that's... um. From here to here on both sides is, is measuring five um, centimeters. So, um, so now I'm going to go through the middle again, bring the whole ribbon together, and I'm going to fold them over at the back. Okay, so I'm going to put it down on my mat just to help me because it can be this part can be quite fiddly. I just want to make sure I'm centered. Okay, after that, 12 and 12. So we have to fold the velvet under. It looks a little bit long to me, so I'm just going to trim off half a centimeter. Actually, another half a centimeter. So I've trimmed off a full centimeter off that side. And You'll know yourself when you're putting it together if you need to trim it or if you have uh, if it's the right length. And then I'm going to fold this over. And hold it all in place. OK. So I've got my pin. And just go right through all the layers, which can be quite tough. There we go. Take out the other central pin. And now I'm just going to rearrange this, make sure that I'm happy that it's sitting properly just before I stitch everything together. Okay. So I think that looks straight. Okay. And then just get my needle and thread and then again I'm just going to close up the back. Now. So I'm going to come through from the underneath. And come out on the top. So now ideally you'd probably use the same color thread, but I don't mind because I've got white in this, so it's all the whole thing is white and but you could color match if you wish. Okay, so I'm just going to do my whip stitch along. The edge here again and I'm leaving my pin until I'm finished just to make sure I'm happy with it all okay so because these the white is a contrast to the red velvet you can see really clearly my stitches which is good for this exercise okay just do the whip stitch over the edge and pull them nice and tight until you get to the end. And then we'll just do a final knot. Okay. I'm just going to do a little stitch onto the net as well, just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. And then bring my needle right through the whole thing right down the other side and then I'll just finish it off with a little knot here and that's just to make sure that the whole thing stays where it should and it's nice and secure and again with the net it's easy to do that if you're going through many many layers it's a little bit more difficult so I'm just going to attach this on this end as well and make sure it doesn't move about okay them off and there we go nice 
decorative bow. So there we have two variations on the decorative bow. Okay, so thanks for joining and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.